Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I got some gum today. Well, I always have gum. I'm actually almost finished this one. This is Bubble Fresh Cotton Candy by Mentos. So good. So, so good. Okay. Turn my flat iron on. Got a brush. I always forget to take out the brush before the video. And I made a video doing these braids in her hair. So today we're gonna take them out and flat iron it. Okay. So these braids were the top ones because it's half and half. The top ones were done I don't know, I think I did the video last week. So these have been in maybe a week. These have been in for a few weeks, maybe a month. Because I did these a while ago. So we're going to take out the bottom ones first. I'm just going to clip this out the way. Just regular cornrows, and then I did a fishtail braid down here. And I think after I flat iron, I'm gonna trim. Yeah, I'm gonna take my scissors out so that I remind myself. I should have did that the last video. Oops. Yeah, I'm going to trim the ends a little because they're a little, like, dry. First, let me see something because I should have did this in the last video. You apply heat. See how wavy it'll get because it's already wavy by the way this is not human hair it's synthetic hair but you can apply heat my flat iron is on 380 but you can apply heat to this hair honestly you don't even need the flat iron to be on 380 so I'm gonna lower it because I don't wanna because it's not necessary for 380 and put it on 300 so it, it just goes down so it's going down okay so it's pretty wavy already I think another thing I'm gonna do on this mannequin is put some rollers. I bought some like sponge rollers recently that I wanna do on my hair. I'll try to make a video on it. Um, but I bought some sponge rollers. So I think I may try it on the mannequin's hair. not too baby just a little all 
also want to do some Brock <laughs> box braids. I said Brock braids. Box braids, maybe. Not too many, though. Because this, this doll's hair is long. So, so it's nice and cute, wavy. I'm going to take the whole hair out and then I'm going to flat iron it and then um, once it's fully straight I can cut the tips better cut the ends of her hair drink in my gigantic mug this gum makes me really thirsty I don't want it to get too knotty because it's already kind of like the ends of her hair not are knotting getting tangled a little bit all right so I said this before with this mannequin here is the um any hair that came out when I brush the mannequin the hair doesn't really come out but when you get a lot of knots or if it gets really tangled you'll have some shedding but otherwise regularly I don't have shedding One more. Oops, got a little knot right here. Okay. And then we got the same thing here. These braids up here are fatter. So this braid here looks fatter. I think there's more hair. Yeah, there's, I have more hair in the front than I did in the back. Not quite sure why I parted it. <laughs> like the part is all kind of busted. But I did cornrows up here, of course, and I did a fish tail braid here. After I braided all of the braids, I took all of them and made one big braid. And look at that. That'd be cute, right? Okay. Let's take this out.
So if you braid it and then put heat on it, it'll help with um, waving it up more. But this hair curls pretty easy. Like you can probably just go like this with it. Let me show you. Just apply the heat because it's synthetic and then like wrap it around. As long as the whole strand, the whole strand isn't isn't warm because I didn't put the flat iron throughout the whole strand, but you can just like twist it up. So it's a little pin curl and then use a bobby pin to hold it do that to the whole hair and then just let it go see so it curled up a little bit where i had the where i applied the heat but you just apply heat to the whole strand curl it up pin it up and just set it there it'll curl it no problem or you can just use a curling iron. Just this hair is pretty long. I've been using the curling iron. Yeah, she needs a trim. Need a trim. What I really need, instead of getting a stand like this, is a floor stand. I'm gonna check that out because I make wigs and stuff too. And having a floor stand would be beneficial. You know, the floor stand looks like a little tripod. You can adjust the height and um, you can put your mannequins or your like or your canvas heads when you make wigs. Canvas head or even a styrofoam heads. I like the styrofoam heads actually. I, I usually customize my styrofoam heads. Maybe one day I'll make a video on that too. I have a lot of video pl videos planned. It's just um, the timing, the timing. My schedule is very crazy and hectic right now. But I'm just anxiously waiting because I have so many videos I want to make. But just not the time. I don't have the time right now. But also, sometimes I do things that I want to film. But it's just not necessarily the right time to film. Like maybe it's noisy. Sometimes I work on little projects or if I'm doing my makeup, especially I want to like make videos, but it's just not the time to make it, you know, because it won't be a quiet video. Or it may not, you know, there may be noises here and there. I'm considering doing those type of videos anyway and maybe putting it on my other channel. I think I may do that so I don't have to worry about too much noise but actually making some certain videos like my makeup when I do my makeup and stuff or get ready videos the get ready videos I always want to do but it's just always too noisy when I'm getting ready Okay, this 
This stand is kind of irritating right now. Let me see. I also said if you get this mannequin, or any mannequin for that matter, usually on Amazon, the stands that come with it are horrible. Like they're not as sturdy as I would like. You may still be able to use it, but it's just not as sturdy as, as I would like. All right, let me try to make this tight. So here's a hair, it's not that wavy. It's looking a little like a mess right now. That's all right, we're gonna make her pretty. Also, these mannequin hairs, they, um. Whenever it's curled or like waved or something, it straightens very easy. She has so much, so much hair. I might need two clips. All right. Take a little piece with a tangling brush. reason it's a little knotty the front braids are came out easy I'm not sure why the, the back is a little more knottier move her forward all right so 300 degrees and 300 should be fine. Even a little less than 300 is fine. It doesn't require much heat. Synthetic hair doesn't require much heat. And there she goes, she's back to being. Let's do that little end. Back to straight hair. You also don't want to apply too much heat and too much excessive heat to synthetic hair. So it'll last a little longer. Nice, right? Really nice. This hair is so long. I'm just gonna cut um just a very little, a little bit, not too much, because I love the length and I definitely don't want to lose the bottom color. I'm just gonna cut like, like that baby. It's about an inch, maybe not even an inch. And then over time as her hair, you know, as her hair gets worse, then I'll cut more and cut more. But right now she's fine. She has a nice little knot right here. I don't want to move her head too much though, because then it's going to shake the camera a little bit. And I don't want to jerk the, the stand. Okay. Let's get to this knot now. Let me see. All right, so it was still a little partially braided, that piece. See, so regularly, you won't get this much shedding. If you have knots in it, you'll get a little bit of shedding. More than I would like. More shedding than I would like, but it's okay.
fell out the frame. That's how long it is. This is one of the reasons why I did not want to put a rug by my vanity. I have a little rug under there now, but I deal with hair so much, and I'm doing, I'm always doing my hair, messing with the wig. All, all the hair is just like all over the place. how it does this was actually just a rug I had already that wasn't getting used so I said let me um, put it under my vanity and see see how it does if I find there's too much hair and I'm cleaning it too often then I'm not gonna invest in a little cute rug but I really do want a cute pink little rug by my vanity area. And I added a little whiteboard back here, right here, that I'm very happy about. A small little whiteboard. I actually have two whiteboards in my kitchen, and recently I've been wanting to put like a calendar or something right here to hang because I'm always by my vanity and I needed something to give me reminders to show my to do list so that it's right there and I'm always, you know, gonna see it. And I said, you know what, let me, let me try one of these whiteboards that are not getting any sort of use. I mean, well, one of them is um, in my kitchen, but one of them is not getting any use in my kitchen. I have another whiteboard on the side of my fridge. I don't like things on the front of my fridge. I have a stainless steel fridge and I find that it just, it doesn't leave permanent marks, but if you put something on it, it'll leave a little mark. I used to have my whiteboard on the front and then I took it off and you saw the little magnet marks. Um, it's not permanent, but again, I just don't like anything on the front of the fridge. So it hangs on the side and that's where I usually write um, any groceries little groceries that I might forget. I usually know what I need when I shop. But um, I'll write that down there. Also, any plant-related things. So I wrote on the last time I fertilized my plants, if I have to do anything specific to any of them in general. When I plant new plants, like if I plant the seeds, Sometimes I like to write it down on that whiteboard in the kitchen, just so I can see how long it took, you know? Well, how long it took the seed took to germinate and actually, you know, start growing and stuff. I haven't gotten a plant, a new plant in quite a while. I'm definitely due for one. I want to get a um, couple of big plants. I think the last time I got a plant was a couple of months ago, maybe two or three months ago. 
I know that doesn't sound like long, but it is long for me because it's not a lot of plants. <laughs> the last plant that I got was a Venus flytrap. I believe that was the last one. Hmm. Can't remember. Or maybe, you know what? After that Venus flytrap, I got a bunch of little succulents because I had some shelves in my living room that I put up. Didn't really have nothing on it, but I um, I realized I wanted to put some plants on it. So I said I can put succulents on it because they will be small enough for that shelf, for those shelves, so like little floating shelves. So that's what I did. I think of what about, well, the pack. It came with about 30 succulent plants. I want to say like half of them died already <laughs> um i don't know what i did wrong when it comes to succulents i'm horrible they somehow died i yeah so i think or well, maybe like 10 out of 30. because some of them were very small succulents like this small little tiny succulents and then they had some that were a little more jumbo size those are still alive It just had a mixed variety of succulent plants, but yeah, some of them are really, really small and look like they were already on the verge of almost dying already, you know? I got like um, a mixed lot of 30 succulents. I think it was 30 to 24. I believe it's 24. I refuse to believe like 10 of them died. It wasn't 10. Anyway, I think those are the last plants I got. But yeah, some of them are really small and just looked a little, mm, you know, already. And did what I could, but some died. And I bought my Venus flytrap not too long before I bought those succulents. I believe those are the last plants that I bought. I was so excited. I've been wanting a Venus flytrap for a while now, but I wanted to wait till the weather was warmer. So I think I got it in May or something like that. May, June. I know it was a warm out. And um, I love them. My Venus flytraps are doing so 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 good I'm very um I'm very impressed with myself <laughs> I was scared you know usually I'm very good with my plants I take care of them I've never had a plant die on me besides succulents <laughs> but I was a little nervous about the Venus fly trap simply because they do require a lot of sun and warmness and um, they only use distilled water. You can't water them with any other water. It has to be distilled. And you have to put it put it in a little like saucer type thing. You can't just put it in soil like you would a regular plant. I researched them a little bit and I waited months and months and months before I decided all right I'm gonna um, I'm gonna buy these and I made sure I had the time you know to where about the first week or two I was really watching them making sure that they were good they don't require much at all they are on my bedroom windowsill because I get the most sun here. So they've been there. They are absolutely no trouble. You just leave them alone. <laughs> and you fill up this saucer. Make sure this saucer is filled up with some water. 
very specific amount. And that's it. When it comes to feeding them, you don't have to feed them. But um, you can, it'll help them grow more. So I got blood worms, I got dried blood worms because there was no way I was gonna buy bugs. <laughs> And it would have to be like live bugs, right? Um, because Venus fly traps have these little like things sticking out in, in their traps when they open. And once you like touch that, then they close the traps. So that's why when a live bug goes in there and is moving its legs, the Venus fly trap feels that and closes this trap. And that's it for that bug. But um, there's another way you can do it with blood worms, so that's what I did. I got some dry blood worms, and I think I feed them um, not even once a week. I was feeding them once a week for like a month. You can feed them once a week, it's fine. You can feed them less than that. I think I haven't fed them in over a week, probably two weeks, and they're fine. I'll feed them soon but they've been gr growing new traps like crazy I also have to any dead traps I have to snip that away because I see some dead traps in there so I have to snip that away I know one thing when I first got it there were some traps that were closed Usually when the traps are closed, that means they were fed, like they got a bug or they were fed or whatever. And I didn't even realize that. But after a couple of days, those traps started opening and I noticed like the remains of a bug. <laughs> it was like dried up and shriveled. Oh, I was so, I was so surprised to see that. And I'm like, that can't be a bug in here because I don't have, like, I don't have bugs in here. I don't have any bugs. Like, I don't have no flies, no gnats, no nothing. So, and it looked like a fly. So I said, oh, wow, what is this? And then another trap opened up and it had the same thing in the trap. And I contacted the seller and I said, what should I do? Because it looks like a bug, but it's dried up. Do I take I move the dead, you know, skeleton of the bug, or what do I do? And they said, most likely it's a, you know, it's a bug. I think they usually feed them before it leaves or something, because it was not a new bug. But they told me I can just, I can take it out, the loose remains, I can take it out. So you could just take some tweezers and the little remains of the bug comes right out. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. It looks nice and silky and soft. One day I'll do a little plant tour as well. hurting I can sit in my chair all day do a whole bunch of things but for some reason <laughs> when I start doing the mannequins here it's a reminder of when I was actually a hairstylist God bless the hairstylist because my back used to be killing me standing all day and doing hair and leaning over And you don't you kind of don't think about it when you're actually like doing someone's hair and stuff you kind of want to 
make the customer happy and, and you know get things moving and then you feel it at the end of the day I also had a really crazy workout yesterday I'm very sore <laughs> Feels so soft. Get something to drink. I think this is like a 32 ounce mug. <laughs> it's huge. This mug. Like inside, it's huge. Sometimes I drink tea. This used to be my go to teacup. I recently bought something way smaller. <laughs> On the days where I don't want a gigantic mug of tea, but I I usually use those for tea. already like basically straight so we're gonna take any sort of wave or like the little fuzziness out I'm gonna raise this a little bit more to 320 got this little chunk left that's it but look how pretty look at that sorry you cannot see the the whole length in one frame but so pretty purple and pink are my favorite colors the whole camera moves. <laughs> My 
tripod is connected, is clipped onto my table. So when the table moves, the camera moves. So a good amount of hair came out due to the knotting. And this weather needs to make up its mind. One minute it's hot, next minute it's... Today was all over the place. When I went outside, it was, it seemed very windy. Went outside, it was it was windy, it was a little cool. I got a hot coffee instead of an iced coffee because it was a little chilly. Went out, got out of Dunkin' Donuts, and the sun was just beaming. <laughs> so it was a little warm. Then I did some walking. I went to, to TJ Maxx today. Did some walking to TJ Maxx and it was just warm 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 came out of TJ Maxx and it seemed like it was starting to drizzle and by the time I was I got home it was already about to start raining it rained and then um, it was so windy so so windy I had my windows open and like the wind you know Push my door shut, slam shut. And then after that, for some reason, it's just barely any wind. Very all over the place weather today. But I went to TJ Maxx today, and they're open for, you know, in store shopping. They're usually a little line outside because they only let a, a number you know, a certain number of people in. Like, they're monitoring that. But, um, I found a few things. I love TJ Maxx for, like, their workout stuff. If you ever need, like, sports bras, leggings, uh, running shorts, yoga mats, workout, like, weights and things like that, oh, TJ Maxx is, TJ Maxx, fabulous for that stuff. So I went in there and found exactly what I was looking for. And went to go to the line. TJ Maxx, the line is always ridiculous. If you've ever been in a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls, you know the lines are ridiculous. So even with them monitoring how many people come in, the lines, the line was ridiculous. So I walked towards the elevator escalators. I was with someone and we were both like, I had like my stuff in my hand and we were just like, um, yeah, we're, I don't think we're waiting on a line. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, this is just a waste of my time. You've been coming here and then walking around and finding things that I, you know, I needed and I wanted. I'm like, wow, this is just a waste of my time then. Do I really want to wait on this line? So we, we we were just standing there. It wasn't long, not like maybe 30 seconds. We're looking at the line and just figuring it out. And then a lady walks over and she's like, are you guys done? I was like, um, I didn't really know what she meant by that. I, it seemed like she was an associate, that like she worked there. I was like, um, well, yeah, I'm done shopping. I'm, I was, I think I was about to pay. And she was like, come with me. I'm like, what? <laughs> so she goes behind the counter, and then I pause for a minute. I thought she was going to stop at one register. She's like, come, come, come. And she walks all the way down to the last register, and and that's it. <laughs> I was so grateful for her. She was just like, come with me, come with me. I really don't know why, because the line was long, okay? And I think there was like two or three cashiers. It didn't seem like it was moving too fast. And you know, 
when you go in TJ Maxx, most of the time you don't go in there for one thing. You usually have a cart full of things or several things. I think I had about six items. And, um, yeah, she was like, come with me. So she rung me out. So I did not have to wait on the line or anything. I felt like VIP status. <laughs> I don't know if she was like a manager there or something, but she, you know, sometimes the cashiers, they change their draws, they, they, they have their own cash draw, or, you know, a manager has to lock them in, or they have to do stuff before they actually take customers. She got right on the register and took me. I was like, oh my God, I'm so, I was so grateful for her. <laughs> I was like, thank you so much. Like, thank you, just thank you. I don't know why she took us, but she we did not have to wait on that line. I guess she saw us like thinking about, hmm. Are we gonna really wait on this line? Or it looks, it looks like we're not gonna be spending money today. Cause I don't know if I'm waiting on that line. So maybe she was a manager and saw you know, a potential customer not gonna spend money and decided to just, you know, and let me take this customer so she could spend her money. <laughs> or maybe she was just in the mood to be nice. But I was so happy I did not have to wait on that line. All right, so. Her hair is done. How pretty. Look at that. I love how the ombre is not like just, you know, it looks. Because they could have really did a bad job with the coloring, right? They could have just had it like. But it's like subtle and. Look at that. It's so pretty. Alright. I'm not even just, I'm not even gonna part this. I'm really just gonna brush it because I'm just gonna cut the very ends. Nothing crazy at all. Not giving her an official haircut or any, any of that. I'm just gonna divide the hair. So because it's so long, all I'm doing is this at the end, going like this, and then stop my fingers to where I want to cut it. So I stopped it here, but I'm not gonna cut this much. Um, I don't think that's really necessary to cut that hair, to cut it that long, me that much. I'm gonna cut this much right here. So I have my garbage so, so that the hair will fall right in. Actually, I will take it down a little bit. <laughs> just a little. So I didn't even cut all of that, I just cut that, see? And she'll be due for me to cut this part soon too, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna let her live with her little length for right now. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. I don't understand. Maybe it could be, it could be the top of my table too. Possibly being too, I don't know. It, it still shouldn't do that, but. All right, let's, let me hurry this up. I don't want I don't want this head to fall off again. Okay. Where did I cut it at? Seems like I cut so much. But I didn't. Maybe the front 
of her hair is a little bit shorter but I don't want to cut this much I'll show you guys right now so look this right here I think is where I cut and then this much I'm not sure I guess I'm gonna do it I think I cut that much I think that was yeah that's about an inch front maybe was a little shorter because I did not cut this much hair off it didn't seem like this much at least I don't know makeup headband all right see look this is the side and you see how it doesn't look as much as the middle portion I'm not sure why but it's just not as much that's it so I think I cut about an inch off let me make sure there's no little stray hair and that it's somewhat even not expecting perfection so we're just gonna and that's it I'm gonna run the flat iron trim she's ready for the weekend now <laughs> she is ready I think it looks so much better wow it looks so much better to me just cutting um I mean I know synthetic hair like it just looks healthy for some reason <laughs> I know synthetic hair but how it is when you cut your tips let me get this little part right here when you cut your ends in real life your hair just looks healthier looks fuller because those little those little ends was not it let me see I'm looking in my mirror as well okay it'll do for now Look at that. Look how pretty. Yeah, that looks really nice. I, I was afraid it was going to look too choppy. It doesn't. It actually appears longer, the hair. That's it. She's good. We just need to put some lashes on her, right? I'm gonna put some lashes on her. Get her a little lash, some lashes, some little eyeshadow. Next time you see her, she might be done up. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I think I'm gonna wash her hair actually. Sometime soon, wash it. And then um, just let it air dry. Cause I haven't washed the hair. And I think I've had this mannequin for over a month already. So I think I'm going to wash her hair. That was my laptop. Yeah, time to go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you um, want to see more hair videos with the mannequins, I have a whole mannequin playlist with just mannequin, hair mannequin videos. All right. 
and um yeah you could check that out i will see you guys next time take care of yourselves enjoy the rest of your week